Hello everyone and welcome to EMAP. Let's solve this equation. a cubed plus a squared is equal to 12. Okay, so we have a cubed plus a squared minus 12 is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a value for a that, that fits this equation. Let's have a equals to 0. So we can see that this, it doesn't work. Let's try for a is equals to 1 also doesn't work but if we try for a is equal to 2 we can see that a is a root for this equation so a cubed plus a squared minus 12 it can be written as a minus 2 and then times brackets we need to find all the roots and all this is equals to 0 or all this it can be written as a cubed plus a squared minus 12 and then divide it by a minus 2 and all this is equals to the other roots we need to find okay let's clean this because now we are going to use the, this trick so when we divide this a cubed with a we have a squared and now i'm going to multiply this a squared with a minus 2 and we have a cubed minus 2a squared. Now I'm going to subtract them. And we have a cubed minus a cubed is 0. Plus 3a squared minus what's left is 12. Now when we divide this 3a squared with a, we have 3a. So now I'm going to multiply 3a with a minus 2. And we have 3a squared minus 6a. And when we subtract them, we have 3a squared minus 3a squared is 0 plus 6a minus 12. Now, when we divide 6a with a, we have 6. And now I'm going to multiply 6 with a minus 2. And we have 6a minus 12. When we subtract them, we have 6a minus 6a is 0 plus minus 12 minus minus 12 is also zero so all this is zero so we found that a cubed plus a squared minus 12 it can be written as a minus 2 and then times brackets a squared plus 3a plus 6 and all this is equals to zero so surely this equation has three roots a minus 2 is equals to zero or a squared plus 3a plus 6 is zero so our first answer a1 is 2 and let's find the second and the third answer And here we found the other two complex roots. Please support me by liking my video, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.